people always talk about what are the costs. Uh, I think we need to start talking about the high costs of poverty. We know there's a direct link between uh, mental health and poverty. We know there's a direct correlation between rates of violence uh, and, and poverty. Uh, and you know what, what Kim and I are proposing in our legislation uh, is not to gut the social safety net. What our bills are saying is that our social safety net is not cutting it uh, anymore. And we need income guarantees, unconditional income guarantees that people can re rely on in addition to current and future government programs and supports, like, for example, dental care, like, for example, affordable, accessible housing with rent uh, geared uh, to income. Um, and we know, I mean, it's been wild, well studied, certainly here in Manitoba, there was the Ontario study that when you provide people with what they need, when you ensure that people can live in dignity, uh, it, 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 it has cost savings uh, in the long run. Like, let's get real. We know there's a direct correlation between poverty and rates of crime. Uh, I'm saying is what we are saying in terms of our bills is instead of spending over $200,000 a year keeping one woman in a federal penitentiary, why don't you take that money and invest it in people so that they have what they need to not just survive, but to thrive and have real choices in their life and not be beholden to abuse of employers or not be beholden to have to stay in violent relationships that we know cost lives. Um, and uh, so I think we need to start changing the narrative around guaranteed income, um, a guaranteed income and really focus on what the real problem is. And I would say it's the ultra rich, it's the billionaires. Uh, if you wanna talk about lazy, uh, you know, it's the ultra rich living on their yacht, drinking cocktails, the hardest job in, in the, that you can have is being poor. Where am I gonna stay tonight? What am I gonna eat? How am I going to stay warm? That's a full-time 24-hour job. That is the hardest job. I'm saying we have the resources and we need to ensure that everybody in this country lives in dignity.